A horrific day 18 months ago at Santa Fe High School, eight students and two teachers killed. Their families have been waiting to see the accused shooter go on trial. But now it appears there's a chance that that may not happen. A big development you saw uh, first here on Channel 2. Demetrio Pogorchis' attorney says that his client will likely be declared incompetent to stand trial. He says three experts all came to that same conclusion. And now the families are learning about this unwelcome update in the case. Our Brittany Jeffers spoke with the mother and sister of one of the survivors. Brittany? Yeah, that family that I spoke with earlier today tells me that they were incredibly disappointed and said, they said that they were very fearful that something like this would happen. They tell me that all they can do right now is simply wait like everyone else. All I can say is that Justice has been delayed today. Sonia Lopez says the disappointment set in after she got a call this morning from the district attorney's office. We were told that there was a meeting and uh, they couldn't confirm yet. Uh, but then I read it on the news. News announced by Demetrius Pogorci's attorney that three experts concluded he's not competent to stand trial. The now 19-year-old is charged with murdering eight students and two educators at Santa Fe High School in 2018. Lopez's daughter, Sarah Salazar, was one of the survivors. We were just excited that trial was coming in uh, February, and uh, now we don't know. Uh, if and when we'll have a trial. Pogorci's defense attorney Nicholas Pale says he anticipates the first step after a judge's order would be that his client is transferred to a state psychiatric hospital. All of the experts uh, agree that he needs to be treated as soon as possible. What Pale doesn't know is when that will happen, the timetable for treatment or when the trial will proceed. Sarah's sister Susanna says that isn't good enough for the families in Santa Fe. They're still dealing with it. They're still having Having the checkup on the situation, and it's, you know, it's ongoing. The family says they'll try to get their own answers from the DA's office and then try to explain it all to Sarah. She doesn't know what happened today yet, but I know that she will accept it and wait and see what happens. What we're all doing now, and that's the, the DA's office, the judge ourselves, that we're going to try to do everything that we can to expedite uh, getting him to that facility, begin treatment so that we can move forward for trial. All parties want to go forward and move this towards trial. Now, Channel 2 did reach out to the prosecutors today, but we were told that they're not commenting. Meanwhile, the family members say the DA's office did contact them earlier today. They tell us that they will be meeting with them tonight. We're live in Galveston County. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.